rewriting this first expression times the reciprocal of the second expression. So the denominator is going to become the numerator. 2y squared minus 14y plus 24 divided by, this numerator is going to the denominator, so flipping those two around. 2y squared plus 11y plus 15. Next step after I've found this reciprocal is to factor. For this numerator, I have a common factor of 3. So this becomes 3 times 3y, excuse me, 2y plus 5 and then at the bottom I have 4y minus 16 so I'm going to factor out 4 and that's going to give me y minus 4. In this trinomial I do have a common factor of 2 leaving behind y squared minus 7y plus 12. In the denominator, I do not have a common factor, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Okay, this first expression is already factored out, so I'm going to rewrite that just as I had it. The numerator needs to be factored here, as does the denominator. And what I have is a positive here and a negative here. And that tells me that I'm multiplying two negative numbers. So factors of 12. I need factors of 12, and then I need them, they're both going to end up being negative. And when I multiply them together, of course, they're going to equal 12, but when I add them together, they also equal, need to add up to negative 7. That's going to be my criteria. Well, I can see that adding 1 and 12, or negative 1 and negative 12, is going to give me negative 13, so that's not correct. If I add 2 and 6, negative 2 and negative 6, I'm going to get negative 8. If I add negative 4 and negative 3, they do add up to negative 7. So these are the correct factors. This factors out to y minus 4, y minus 3. Second one, I have a leading coefficient of 2, and that's going to give me 2y here and a y here, and everything is positive, so these are both positives. So I need factors of 15. One and 15, and three and five. And I need factors that are going to add up to 11y when I have this 2y thrown in the mix, which makes things more complicated. And 15 is, is large. These are too far apart. I'm going to go for these two factors. So I'm going to try 2y plus 3 plus 5. So I'm going to try that first combination and see how it works. I'm going to try these first. 2y times y, so that's 2y squared. Now let's try the outer and inner terms so I can figure out if my middle term it comes out to 11y. 2y times 5 gives me 5y. 3 times y is 3y. So that gives me 8y. That does not equal 11y. So that's not correct. Let's try it the other way. Let's try 2y plus 5 y plus 3. Outer terms, 6y. Inner term, 5y equals 11y, which is what I want. My middle term is 11y. So I know that this has been factored correctly. So I'm going to factor as 2y plus 5. And seeing that this is 2y plus 5 here, that might have been the one to actually start with that it would have been a good guess because things would come out very neat and nice if that was the factor because these will cancel out. So that's another way you can look at it if you're given a problem is, okay, um, you know, what would help me out? Well, if this was 2y plus 5. So you could even try that combination first.
and then know that the other factor has to be 3. Okay, so I've factored this out. I need to cancel out common factors. Um, let's see, 2y plus 5 is a common factor. And do we have any other common factors? We do, we have a 2. So 2 goes into 4 two times. And another common factor is y minus 4. All right, those are all the common factors. So now I multiply. I have a 3 times y minus 3. In the denominator, I have 2 and I have y plus 3. And this is my answer. So in order to divide, I had to invert this second expression do quite a bit of factoring, got it down to this point, and then I simply had to cancel all these common factors and multiply. That concludes today's lesson from educator.com.